Hey, my name is Howard Barnes. I'm a local Huntington Beach um, real estate broker and I'm an associate broker with EXP Real Estate. And why this presentation? <laughs> I'm getting calls from homeowners from across the country wanting me to list and sell their home for them. And why are they calling me? Uh, for one reason, they want to sell their home in less than 14 days and they don't want to pay any commission. So sell in 14 days and pay zero commission. And how do we do this? We have an online home bidding or auction platform. So this is my information here and, um, and it's a marketing piece that I put out and, and it says basically selling your home, pay zero commission, your home sold in 14 days. And the reason I'm uh, talking to everybody is that um, I'm from Huntington Beach. <laughs> I get calls from Detroit, from Atlanta, uh, from Sacramento, from Sa San Francisco, from Fresno, and people say, hey, we want to sell our house, we want to sell it in 14 days, we don't want to pay any commission. So uh, anyway, that's the reason for the presentation, and uh, thank you so much for taking the time to look at it. So how does the online bidding or sale program work? Well, basically, the uh, property is listed for sale, and it's submitted to the appropriate MLS. Marketing is done to make sure that buyers and the realtors are aware that the property is available for sale. We need one open house weekend only. Showings are by appointment at the open house on the Saturday and the Sunday. There's no other showing days needed or required. Bidding will be opened on the Sunday uh, at the end of the open house period. Only buyers who have been pre-approved by our certified online sales lenders are allowed to bid. And this is to make sure that uh, nobody's bidding and then they can't buy the property uh, after they uh, win the bid. So we got to make sure everybody has money. The bidding closes at 8 p.m. on the Thursday after the open house period. The sellers will review the bids and accept, counter, um, or reject the offer that works for them. The sellers have the right to accept, reject, or counter a bid. Buyers agree when they start bidding that the seller has the right to accept their bid, reject their bid, or counter their bid. So what are the benefits to the seller? Well, it's a simple sales process and requires no negotiating on the seller's end. The seller uh, pays most of the real estate commissions <laughs> sellers really think that's a sweet thing. Uh, the auction deadline creates buyer urgency. When everybody's bidding, there's buyer's urgency and the buyers spend the money. The typical timeline is 14 to 30 days, which is less, and that eliminates carrying costs for the uh, seller if there are any. The seller sets the year we set for the seller the terms and day of the auction so that the seller can plan their life accordingly. The sale is not contingent upon inspections and appraisals, or it could be, uh, depending on the buyer. So sometimes the highest bid needs that, and sometimes the uh, highest bid doesn't need that. It's all cash. Yeah, and so it just depends on the offers. The uh, Competitive bidding process helps the seller receive the true market value for the house because the buyers can bid until they don't want to bid anymore, and that's fair market value. Uh, experienced professionals, such as uh, realtors like yourself, will handle the marketing, promotion, and paperwork, and the auction event, and we uh, certainly uh, teach you how to do that. So the benefits to the buyer, what are the benefits to the buyer? The buyer has complete control over buying the home they want. It eliminates the multiple blind offer situations. You know, buyers are always scared that they're going to pay too much and sellers are always scared that they're gonna to sell too low. And uh, so what happens is that um, everybody gets to bid what they wanna bid and it's no longer at your best and final offer you can watch online what the bids are and decide if you want to bid more or if you want to bid less. There's complete price transparency for the buyer. And I know in my life, in a lot of situations, you know, I write full price offers on houses and the listing realtor doesn't even call me back. And um, 
and that's just uh, how real estate works and what happens here is that uh, the buyers are going to dictate because the buyers are going to keep spending money until they feel that uh, they've reached fair market value and uh, they don't want to bid anymore. They do have the ability to preview the house before bidding. There's no hidden surprises. And that's what the uh, open house period on the Saturday and the Sunday does. Uh, they do pay a buyer's premium to be able to bid on a property. And if it's our buyer, and in this type of situation, lots of times there are buyers, and we're going to double end it. If we wanted to, well, what we could do is reduce the buyer's premium for the buyer. We have normal contract and closing process. So the person that uh, wins the bid uh, will complete a sales contract. If there's a buyer's agent working with him, they'll do the contract. And uh, if not, we'll do the contract and uh, then move it right into escrow. And uh, traditional financing is accepted, whereas in most real estate auctions, it's a cash only deal. Uh, we'll take uh, traditional um, financing uh, which makes it easier for people to spend more for the property. So all this is great information, but let's get down to the nitty gritty and what's important and that's how do the realtors get paid. The buyer agrees to pay a buyer's premium before the buyer starts bidding. The buyer's premium is added to the winning bid on the property. This is the same as buying a HUD home. So the sales price plus the buyer's premium equals the purchase or contract price. And, uh, and this is the amount that is financed. Okay, so that's the purchase price and that's the amount that's financed. The listing realtor establishes what the buyer's premium will be. So it's your listing, you decide what the buyer's premium is going to be. Many of our listing agents charge 5 to 7% for a buyer's premium. Now the listing agent uh, can cooperate with the buyer's agent if they want, and they can put the amount of the cooperation in the MLS. All buyers must be pre-approved for a mortgage before they can bid. Again, to make sure that they actually have the financial ability to buy the house at the price that they're bidding. So would you agree, if you can get the listings, <laughs> the rest of the real estate business will take care of itself. As Tom Hopkins said years ago, and I believe it's still true today, the salesperson that controls listing inventory will generate the most amount of income. You need to specialize in the listing arena. Okay, real estate is going to be easy again. And basically what we do is we really go after expired listings for sale by owners and divorce attorneys. Because all these people are looking to sell their home in 14 days or less, and they're looking to pay zero commission. Okay, so it makes it pretty easy to get in the door. And, you know, bottom line is you get in the door, even if they don't want the online bidding platform, uh, you can list the home traditionally. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can charge a flat fee if you want. Uh, but I can guarantee you that the online bidding platform will generate the most offers, get the most buyers in, and... Uh, and basically it'll generate the best price or market value for the home and that's what the seller is looking for and for you as a listing broker you're going to wind up with all the buyers in the area and all their contact information and normally uh, what's happening with our uh, listing agents is they're hiring buyers agents to work the buyer leads because we get so many buyers to the open houses that uh, there's no way that the listing agent can deal with the buyers so when you're ready to discuss how to add this tool to your business, set a time to speak that works for you by clicking my calendar link. And my calendar link is on the um, screen there. And uh, my email is howard at 14dayhomeseller.com. It'd be my pleasure to chat with you and so we can have a discussion as how we can uh, put this into your business and uh, get you increasing your <laughs> listing inventory. Uh, two, three, four, five, six extra listings a month, and then more buyer leads than you could ever think that you could handle. And so then uh, you can hire some buyer's agent to deal with that for you. And so what's going to happen is you're going to wind up with a real real estate business here. Anyway, I look forward to speaking with you.